What is going on guys and welcome back for another pop-up live stream. I don't know, we're going to do a teardown on this tank down here. It's a 55 gallon aquarium. Uh, we got some Australo Heroes SP locales in it. Uh, what our plan to do with these fish is to move all these fish outdoors and bring the few fish outdoors that I want to bring indoors indoors. So um, if you guys are familiar with this tank, let me bring it up. It is uh, kind of our paludarium style tank that we that we've had for a number of years here and um it had a, it has a crack in it probably four or five inches down from the top uh top rim so i never filled it yeah i think i'm live and uh let's see where's this camera at? and uh it's got a bunch of rocks in it and um some some driftwood some uh plants in there uh yeah it says i'm live 3g's here what's up 3g good seeing you buddy uh, let's see. Can we add this? Here we go. Yeah, here's the so here's the uh, aquarium that I'm talking about. This is all I'm seeing. Is, are people seeing you? I don't know. Tampa Tom, what's up? Sound and picture are both working. Well, thank you, Tampa Tom. Appreciate that. Coral works. Good morning. Good seeing you, buddy. Uh, Vinoxy, hello. Yeah. You're behind or something. You're lagging. Maybe I'm sucking up all the bandwidth here. 3G member for 23 months. AV good. Excellent. Appreciate you, buddy. Thank you, man. Good seeing you guys. So yeah, just doing a little pop up here. Gonna tear this tank down. This is the intention today, because uh, I gotta get moving on it. And I figured, why not uh, do a live stream and hang out with you guys, and you can watch me do this as we go through. Uh, slight echo, but it's not too loud. Okay, wonder why that is. Uh, how about now? It, it, maybe it was that other tab. I didn't have it muted. Is it better now? Mic is muted. Can, we, can, you, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay, goodness. Okay, there's Aquatic Ness. Okay, goodness. <laughs> Welcome, Aquatic Ness. How's everyone's house things? Things is good. How's your things? Uh, I had to. I took the day off of work today. I, would, I took it off to to take the kids to school this morning. Aquatic Ness had a uh, a dentist appointment, and the kids are on this weird two-hour delay for teacher and service stuff in the morning so all better no echo Ex excellent thank you coral works but uh took the kid took the day off took the kids to work and i thought oh, what the heck come back and uh did a little bit of housework and i figured why not just go ahead and do some fish work so here we are but things are good hope you guys are all good and uh i'm totally unprepared for this but we're gonna make it happen the few of you guys that are here take a guess how many fish you think are in this tank and uh we'll see i don't know i feel like there's hmm well i don't know if i, I don't know if i want to say because it might skew your guys' guesses take a guess right now guys put it in the chat how many fish do you think are in this tank before you get into the video or if you're watching this in the comments later on put a you know put a comment there too uh but i feel like there's gonna be a decent amount of fish in here you just can't see them because they're all up in these rocks but uh we're about to find out <laughs> i think it was my phone for a minute because i had you on youtube okay okay it probably was your phone 3g with a ten dollar super sticker thank you brother appreciate that man that's awesome thank you so much for your support why is this this one here has just got the spinny wheel hmm. i don't have a youtube up either i apologize but i do appreciate you 3g all right so uh i do have some tubs well little breeder box what I normally move fish in a little breeder box uh, I I've, I've used them as breeder boxes or putting fry in them or maybe use them for you know just sorting fish and whatnot but they were good for moving fish so that's what we're gonna use today and uh, we're gonna go ahead and catch these fish out of here and uh, I guess first thing we're gonna probably just start off tearing off the top so uh, for you guys that are unfamiliar or even you guys that are familiar let's go over a little top shot here not the greatest a uh, little brazilian pennywort there and then actually like some of this stuff up in here is actually just grass i believe so what we had done initially when we set this tank up was uh, i put that piece of driftwood on top of that rock pile and then i went to the woods uh, and pulled off some moss out of the woods and put it on top of that uh, driftwood and kind of filled it back filled it with sand and set it on top of that so 
a lot of uh, plants from the woods actually were growing in this, and just some grass being one of them. Uh, but yeah, it's just really, I mean, it's definitely seen much better days. It's not, it's not a dirted aquarium, so this is just all a whole bunch of substrate. You can see there's actually blue and some colors down there, which is another reason I want to get rid of it. I don't like the painted rock. Uh, not a whole lot of plants, really. So, and the crack is back there in that corner. And the reason why I never fill it up all the way and just kind of tried to make use of it. Uh, like this new local Austin, what's up? What a treat. Yes, I'm hoping you guys are going to uh, enjoy this. Maybe catch some of you people that I don't normally catch uh, on the Friday live streams at 6 o'clock. We're noon Eastern Standard, so we're like middle of the day for us. How about you? What are you guys up to? Ah, eating. Yes. 3G's link. Thank you, Aquatic Ness. Appreciate that. Big Easy, what's up, Mark? Good seeing you, brother. Hope you're doing good. Dave Jones, welcome to the stream. Nice to have you with us. Mm, yes. Very good. <laughs> cool. All right. Uh, let's see. All right. How do I? How do I not? How do I unclick? There we go. Unclick. Okay. I need a bucket, so I don't even have a bucket ready. Holy cow, oh, there's a bucket right here. Alright. I guess I'm just gonna go for I'm just gonna go for it. Let me turn the mic a little bit here. Get you guys down here with me so you can hear me. In case I'll be talking. Oh yes, yes, yes. Homer the Clown Trigger. Welcome. Nice to have you with us. On lunch break, listening for a bit. Lumpy Dog, thank you, brother. Appreciate that. Thank you, guys. Dave Jones on lunch break. Excellent. Very cool. Catching you guys in the middle of your work days, man. That's cool. Glad to have you with us. We're just hanging out here in the fish room, and we're tearing this tank down. Hopefully the audio is still decent. Um, we're going to go ahead, and I'm just going to just pop this whole top of this off of here and you can't really see with this camera angle so I'm gonna move the camera angle real quick here uh, there we go much better because we're gonna be working up here on top Rainer welcome it's me Rainer okay okay Rainer Trofer cool nice to have you with us all right let's see here some rocks right here nice big rock right here I guess I use oh there's a bunch of rocks falling. I guess I use some big rocks as kind of end caps here. Looks like it's been such a long time since I've had this uh, tank set up. I don't really remember exactly how I did it. There's another big rock. There's a cat. All right, I'm gonna try to grab this out. I'm gonna try to grab it like a whole little mat maybe. It's got some rocks in it. Go around this brace here. Oh, it's muddy. It's definitely muddy. I put dirt in here. All right. There's that. Let's see. I wish I had something to put it on. It's a decent little mat here. I'll try to hold it up to the camera. It's good sized. Most of it. Most of it is Brazilian pennywort, and uh, definitely got a lot of roots and a lot of dirt in there. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that, but uh, I want to try to utilize it somewhere else. Obviously. Oh, there's a daddy long legs. I'm not even gonna mess with it. I'm gonna let him live. Maybe I shouldn't. Cause doesn't it, is it, isn't it if you kill a daddy long legs it rains? Isn't it supposed to rain if that isn't that the old wives tale? Ah, let me know if that's what that is. All right. Okay, I need more containers. Yes, more containers. Alright. 
this will do nicely. What's up, Vibes Aquatics? Good seeing you, man. Uh, just hanging out here. Stop by to give a thumbs up. All right, bye. Nice to have you with us. We're just hanging out, tearing this fish tank down, doing a little pop-up tear down stream here in the middle of the day. Something a little bit different. So, oh, I got, I even got some like. <laughs> okay. okay. This is funny. I put the uh, <laughs> a bunch of these plastic like stackable decorations i had those like jammed in there holding dirt from falling down okay that was pretty smart of me i gotta admit because i mean look at it it's working pretty good i just turned them upside down yeah oh what's up the fish dude good seeing you dave currently watching from work how's it going man it's going good going good heading uh have a day off here. Took a day of paid time off, PTO, and we're uh, tearing the fish tank down. Go hopefully move some fish around, get some fish uh, put in some better places, or maybe not better places, but places where I want them <laughs> uh, before it gets too cold. So that's what we're doing. And uh, it starts by this down here because I need to catch these fish out of here. And I'm not going to be able to tear this tank down without moving all these rocks out. I'm not going to be able to catch all the fish unless I get all the rocks out. So it's a good possibility here. This is going to turn into a complete disaster. It's going to be all mucky and you're not going to be able to see what's going on. But we still should be able to catch all the fish out of here. You're going to be able to see them after it's all uh -huh. murky. That's a big rock right there. That's a good size rock. Oh, it is. That was up on top. Kind of stacked up in there. I'll bring you guys in here with a, for a close up here. Looks good. Looks good on our end, don't it? Yeah. Quality looks good. But yeah, just picking these rocks out of the back here and then I'm going to move on to this driftwood next and I'll pull this piece out. some bigger pieces in here still. Are you going to help? Kiki's on the camera. I think we're going to go for the wood. Yep. All right, here comes the driftwood. Maybe. Wow. Tight. All right, there is the driftwood. Got a little grass growing on it still. Big piece. That is cool. Oh, no, you can't jump up there. She's trying to jump up on your is she? keyboard area here. That really messed some things She's up. She's a what crazy is? cat, ain't she? Mm -hmm. I think I need to skim. I'm going to skim the top of this with the net real quick. That does beat off. I got to hold her back. She's like, I just want to jump. <laughs> Make it nice and slow, yeah. maybe. Not going to make a humongous mess, but it's still going to be messy. There's no way around it, folks, when you're messing with planted tanks, old tanks. Tanks have been set up for years. They're going to be a mess. 3G has a comment. 3G has a comment? Yeah. I bet he does. <laughs> Check, <right. laughs> Check it. Try it, check it. It's like uh it's like uh 
10 pounds of wood in a five pound bucket right there. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. All right. We actually got some plants over here on this side. A little bit of Hygrophilia coriamboza. A little bit of dwarf sage right there. Three G with a bunch of laughing faces. Three G with a bunch of laughing faces. <laughs> All right, that's uh, that's the majority of it. Kind of a lot of dead duckweed. Yeah, it's really dry. Duckweed's really dry, man. Don't be itching by your eye, you have twice swollen. What's up, Lando? Dave is watching from work. Dave is you watching from work. You gotta think of the watching from work, guys. You almost can't really see now, it's all dirty. And that's E and. You can adjust my hair. Oh, there's a big one. Maybe I should try to. Well, I don't think I'm going to be able to catch him. Now I really can't even see. Now I really can't see. I can see there's a bunch of algae up here. Definitely a bunch of algae right there. I don't see a scraper nearby. Man, when was the last time I cleaned this tank? I don't know. Holy smokes. <laughs> it's a mess in the front. The old hand sponge out here, the old hand scrubber. I probably lost it. That's probably how I got this bad. Oh. Alright, that probably made it worse. A little bit. Maybe better. Alright, let's go for the big rocks. This is where it's going to get fun. Maybe. Hopefully, hopefully nobody gets entrapped. You guys are gonna have to bail out. Ooh, I just seen a fish in the front. Yeah, there's a big one. There's a big one there. Let's see the male. Some bubbles. All right, let's go for this one. Oh my goodness! God dang, that thing's heavier than I thought. Especially once it gets on hmm. the water. That's like a 20 pound rock, probably. I'll save that for my test. Okay, let's go for this one. This one's cool and it's got a stripe on it. Yeah, that one is a little rock. <clears throat> got a lot of character. This one's like 3G. It's got a lot of character. It's real nice. <laughs> real nice. That's probably another 20 pound rock. Yeah. These are probably all 20 pound rocks. There's a lot of weight in that. Area. Oh, this might be a 30 pound rock. That one's definitely bigger than the other two. For sure. Wow. <laughs> that is a beast of a rock. Probably 25 pounds. This one's a little smaller. That's got a nice purple. Probably oh, can't see it on there. Uh, no. That's purple color. Well, I'll have to get a flashlight right. down on it later. Look something. at that mess we made. <sighs> what a mess. <laughs> okay. We can just take the uh, swing at it approach and just start scooping. Very orangish, reddish rock. There's quite a few large rocks that were in there. You took notes. 
so far. There's some more in there. It'll be interesting to see. I think that's. Who pops in during the day? Oh, there you are. It's such a weird time. It is a weird time. We're never on during this time. Yeah. Okay. That is dirty. <laughs> I think this would be where you would time lapse, right? You just time lapse. Yeah. If this was any other video, you just you time lapse. Edit it. <laughs> yep. And then let it look like when it's all settled and then start catching fish again. Yep. Yeah, well, you're live, so. So let's go for a fishing tour. No editing right now. Right. Let's look at some better things. Oh, he's in the back. He's way back there. He's probably wondering what you were doing down there, disrupting yeah. and making noise. Yeah, because this tank, this stand is all tied together. So what I'm doing down there is shaking up this tank and those things up there. Oh, I got some. I think this is Patos. You know what? That's. I think it's Patos. Something like that, maybe. I don't know. Got some of that. Let's see. Let's put over here. There's a big pig girl. And red. Side over here. Hiding out. Everybody's hiding. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, they're like, why do you have a camera in our face? It's not Friday. <laughs> oh, Bojangles. We feel out. like it's the middle of the week. Mr. Bojangles. Fam Link, what's up? Hi, Fish Fam Link. Where are you going, buddy? Pumpkin head there, pumpkin seed. They're just chilling. Mr. No, Bojangles, like, the boat fan. Not super hungry, so they're just kind of hanging out. Yeah, I just fed him yesterday, too. All right, let's go back to the cloudy, murky mess. There's some good ones. Let me go back. I got a, oh, I got a pen down here. Mm -hmm. I didn't have that, but we can find them. They're right up here. So Dave Jones guessed 16 fish, and 3G guessed 14. Scott Haddo said over 9,000. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Good guess, Scott. Yeah. I'm with you. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be that many. <laughs> I don't think I missed any. So we got three guesses uh, 14, 16, right? 14, 16, and over 9,000. So 
I bet. Yep. I bet. Uh, what was it Dave Jones guess? Fourteen? No, three nope, G. I bet three G. I bet three G is probably gonna get it. <laughs> I don't know what was in there, but forty-two. All right, forty-two. There's another guess. Four. Uh, Australia Heroes SP Locale. Ahoy, ahoy, my friends. Sideshow Cody V. Welcome to the stream. Nice to see you. Oh uh, yeah, Australia Heroes SP Locale. There's one right in the front corner. Actually, uh, yeah, just kidding, the camera. One in the front corner there. There's some big ones in there. There's some small ones in there. I, I had to guess, folks. I would say there's probably like eight to ten. So I'm gonna say five. Five. Yep. So you think a lot of them I, I perished? A, I think a couple of big. Teams, I think there's a big female and a big male in there, and yeah. then. Some other ones that you just couldn't catch, so maybe let's say like seven then, because of the, I didn't count for the two. Yeah, we didn't uh, big fish. check the temperature either. I don't know. I don't know if I know where my finger. I is. haven't been able Have to find it. it. Remember, I looked for we it on Monday for the pool. Or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, we well. have to order one. It's probably seventy degrees. Seventy degrees in the fish room, so it's probably like. 68 in the tank, I would say. Maybe a little cooler. Alright, let's catch some fish. There's a big one right there. My phone is just very laggy. Is it? I don't know what's going on. It's been like that the past couple of days, and I even have tried to restart the phone. Sorry, peoples with earbuds. Ouch. Okay. Cat, you gonna oh move? I gotta check on the dog. She's barking. You gonna move? Kiki. You're not gonna move, are you? Kiki. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna do a little swoop here. Oh yeah, there's a big one. Come here. The one big one. Damn. There's only a couple of these. Wow. I might need more. Uh, <laughs> I might need more things, more containers. I do have more. I probably should get some because that's a big fish. It's the first one. She's barking at pickles. Do you need more containers, he said? Yeah, I can't find any, though. Oh, oh. You I can't don't know. find any. Yeah. They're usually all over. I got like three or four of them. Do you have any under this? Have you looked? I kind of did. I, I kind of looked. I didn't look real closely. Uh, maybe if I pull this filter up here. Really? Yeah, there's a bunch of fish food, some okay. miscellaneous 
filters are coming out. That's what we're doing here. Oh, and they're dirty too. Ooh. Okay. Try to turn these off. Got that one. Uh, this one. Well, that's weird. Oh, They're usually oh, well. laying around everywhere. Oh, well. Just Can't find any either? Stacked up, laying around. Yeah, hey, I know. Where did all the fish go? Where have all the fish gone? Aha, there's one. Easy. Easy. Hmm, maybe I should get the lid. <laughs> yeah, I want to get the lid. Chill out. As easily. Oh, Three G semi rainbows, pseudomogils, least Achilles, sore tails, and mud skippers. They're gone. They gone. Really? All right. Did you get some good money out of them. You just got rid of them to get rid of them. Hey, there's way more than two fish in here. I know it. We're gonna do a double double swipe. I wonder if they're outside or upstairs. Maybe. Okay. I got one. Huh? Uh, maybe in those tubs out there, or that uh, big gray tub thing out there. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe yeah. in that thing. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. So there's three. Wow. I know there's at least five because I seen, I'd seen five before we started. Maybe that was all was in here. Either way, the tank needs taken down. Uh, there's one right there. Get in there. I gotta figure out what I wanna do with it, but I don't know. I'm probably not even gonna set it back up. Maybe I'll use it for a glass. It's got glass, it's got a good glass in it. Just a back panel that's got a crack in it, so theoretically I could cut it all apart and cut it down. Make like a 33 long out of it. Make a 40 long. You know, do the math. Get the gallons right. Make it work. But that's a lot of work. Let's see, let's go back there. So there's four. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to confidently say we've gotten them all with it being this dirty. I have to just come back at you guys. I don't know. Was it only four? Is that possible? Maybe it is. That's the case. There was definitely some predation happening. 
because there was more than that in here. Maybe there's only four. Surprised you guys, huh? Even you guys that had good guesses, they were pretty high. I'm getting a lot of duckweed like this, though. Definitely getting a lot of duckweed. there was any more fish in there, I would have cobbed them. I feel like I would have. So I think that's it. I think we're going to say there's only four fish in there. Kind of surprises me, but it kind of doesn't. These guys are savages. And, uh, I mean, they are mean fish, especially when they are spawning. And that's, that, that's what happened. That's what happened in this tank, too. These two biggest fish here had spawned, and there was a bunch of fish in there. It was a community tank until they spawned in it, and then it became their tank. And they murderized everybody, basically everybody, close to everybody. There were some few hiders. Yeah. Hmm, that surprises me, though. I was expecting, like, 8 to 10. I thought I was going to catch little ones, and I only seen the two big ones, male, female, and then uh, there was two little ones, a light one and a dark one, and they kept going back and forth with each other. I thought, I swore there would have been more, but hey, you never know. That's how it goes. Nope. Not a single one. Not a single one. Well, I think I caught all the fish anyways. So. Yeah. Usually like stacks of them. Like three or four at a time. I don't know. Should we play the members video? Yeah. I think that'd be a good well. idea, huh? Don't I'm gonna play sure. the members video for you guys. This is I believe it's six what is it? Six minutes thirty seven seconds. It's a good video here. Uh all of our members we appreciate the support. Appreciate the support from all you guys. Thank you all so much for, for what you do for the channel. Watching the videos, coming and hanging out in the chats. Yes, let's hear three. Let's hear three G shredder. Let's hear it. Uh, we do appreciate all the support, though. We're gonna uh, we're gonna hold tight. We're gonna stay out of this tank for a few. We'll, we'll see what it looks like when we come back in six and a half minutes. Maybe it looks different. I don't know. Probably not a whole lot. Filters aren't even running. So, but I feel like that was all the fish. Maybe. Maybe I caught four. Maybe we'll move outside Ooh. next. I should have stuck with five. <laughs>
perfect. Okay, here we go, folks. We're going to see what happens. Hopefully, with any luck, we're going to get this worm done in here. And we're going to be able to fling the fish out on the shore. That's what we're, that's what we're hoping for. So, here we go. And we're hoping it's a warm mouth first, or a hybrid. There he is. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> there it is folks, a little warm mouth, come here fella, on just a piece of worm and a stick. Bam, bam. Funny story, that, uh, that fish right there that I just caught without a hook, just a worm and a stick and a piece of twine made from a stick. I caught that fish and put him in that tank. In that tank is a pumpkin seed sunfish. <clears throat> similar to pumpkin head back here. Real similar, but completely savage pumpkin seed sunfish. And uh, he, I put him in a tank, or I put him in that pond. He pretty much hid from that sunfish because that sunfish was trying to beat him up. So I actually re-caught that fish with my hand. He let me hold him enough to catch him out of the water and put him in the other tank. And... Um, He's actually going to be coming into the fish room. So you guys are going to see this fella. He's going to be, uh, he's definitely the next prospect. One of the few next prospects. Uh, I got a tub down here that I'm going to fill up. Uh, I'm going to put some fish in that. And then I'm taking the cyclosomas, uh, Demiris outside. They're going to go in the pond. So I have a tank there and a 40 breeder back here below, um, below me as well. So I have a few tanks that I'm going to take these fish outside and put them in my ponds. And then I'm going to bring the native fish I have outside and bring them inside. So that's uh, that's in the works. But, uh, yeah, and, and that was another reason why this needed done, too, tearing this tank down. I'll bring this back up. It's still, as you can see, a very dirty. But I'm pretty confident there's no fish in there. I'm going to let it settle before I proclaim there's no fish in there officially. But uh, I'm going to take these fish and move them outside and put them in the tub. And then basically at that point, uh, I'll be switching over to filling up these tubs. Uh, and probably I'll probably just use these filters too that I pulled out of this tank. This tank I'm going to knock all the way down and clean out. Um, I don't have everything set up to do that. And, and as you guys know, if you've ever done something like this, it takes time. I have a scoop, like a salt scoop that I like to use. I'll scoop all the gravel out and get put that in a bucket. And then I'll uh, pump all the water out and probably drag it upstairs, kind of dirty, take it outside and spray it out with the hose. And then probably leave it outside uh, or, or cut it apart. I don't know. It would make a good, like, little turtle turtle tank uh what terrarium or something like that maybe or a frog terrarium but uh yeah i don't know we'll see we shall see where are we at here 48 minutes in we got 10 people watching what do you guys want to see you guys want to see anything in particular we could we could bring the camera up and uh or not the camera my phone here we could bring the phone up we could head outside, put these fish, uh, put these fish in the t the tank out there, the tub. You guys want to do that? Let me know. Let's see. Um, Streamyard. I'm headed that direction already, anyways. So hopefully, that's what you guys want. <laughs> if not, I'm sorry. All right. Mm. Let's mute. Let's mute us. Turn the volume way down, so we're not hearing each other talk. Okay. Well, I guess we're not hearing each other, but so I'm not hearing me more than once. <laughs> uh. That tank looks like my parrot fish tank that I cleaned yesterday. Yeah, that t we just tore this tank up. So basically, uh, pulled all the rocks out of it. Kim, if you missed it, pulled all the rocks and driftwood out. I got it all over here. It was a lot of work in that bucket, mostly, and the rocks on the floor <laughs> right there. But, uh, yeah, because I thought for sure there was fish hiding way back behind, like, the rocks and stuff. And, uh, 
turns out there wasn't. So there's only four fish in there. I don't know. Let's see, cam? No cam. Uh, flip this thing. StreamYard's so awkward for me on my phone. I don't know why. I just don't do it, I guess. I don't use it. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Uh, Alright, let's go. Let's go ahead and just pull this out. And then... Can we do this? Um... We just can you hear me now? Oh, let's see. Uh, Kim says my goal for today is to finish escaping the tank. I find that the parrots are tearing themselves up with the rock. Oh, not good. Yeah, absolutely. Let's see. Oh. Slip. Camera said it's settings. Settings. Dang it. All right, let's take these pillows outside. Wait, I'm going to turn this around. I got to do that. There we go. All right, here we go. What should happen? You. Me? Yeah. I got it. I think. I think I've made it. You did. I think I have made it. <laughs> um, this tank is a uh, 125 that originally was an OB cichlid tank, Dragon Zone. Too rough for the parrots. Oh, geez, man. I don't know if it's windy out here. Well, I know it's windy out here. That's not what I meant to say. I don't know if it's windy in the microphone, but I apologize if it is. It's really windy out, but man, it's a nice day. That's a clean house. Kirk will be proud. Awesome. Glad well, Craig will be proud. <laughs> All right, here's my tub over here that I started stacking some wood in front of, too. Let's see. Let's hang these fellows over here. It's quite the difference in temperature up here, like, though. Yeah, because I got the fanciest thermometer in history over here for a tub. What does it say? 65? Mm -hmm. It ain't far off. It surely ain't far off. I was working on filming this thing back up too. This time of year, when it's kind of chilly like this, I like to let the uh, hose sit out in the sun and get a little bit of heat in it. Wow, you guys. A little spray action going on here. Oh, can you guys see that rainbow? Is that just me? Because it looks like there's a rainbow right there. What's up, J Rock? Good seeing you, brother. Oh, it's temperature. It's going to be like 80 today. Can you hear me with this hose running? Is it extremely loud? Let me put it under then. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Silver Creek Aquatics, what's up? Howdy, howdy, listening while planting my fall Franciscas. Whoa, whoa, fish. Whoa. Okay, guys. Are you antsy? We're just going to let you go then, if that's the case. All right, here we go. A little bit of water in here. Get a little acclimation for a second. 
appreciate you for being here at Silver Creek, though. Nice seeing you. Yeah, we hear you. All right. All right. Pretty fish. A lot of worms on them. Come here. Look at that. Beautiful red eyes. How cool is that? That's the little female. And what, a couple little juveniles here. Go for you, little buddies. All right. Oh. Hey, Rock says, I'm just finishing up my deworming, tearing it all down today myself. All right. Kim says, we are finally cooling down here, 65 right now. Nice. Nice. Yeah, it's been, oh, what? It's been down in the 40s, hasn't it? Yeah. It's gotten down in the 40s at nighttime here for like a week almost. Maybe not a week. There was a couple nights in the 40s. Some of them were down in the 50s. So, yeah, definitely uh, cooling off here. So, this, this deal here is temporary setup. This is just, there's a few more also heroes in there, mostly some sickles and some sicklosomas. The rest of them from the basement are coming up here. And then from there, once I catch the fish out of here and take these guys inside, these guys are going to go down in the ground. That way, hopefully they can make it over winter. And I'm probably going to put some little covers on top of these too. And now these are 40... Four, 46 inches deep, I think, if I remember correctly. So we're hoping. We're hoping that, uh, that maybe they'll make it. I don't know. We'll see. Cabbage family. Okay. Brussels sprouts. Broccoli. I see. Nice. Still planting, huh? Wow. We'll take a look at I don't know. I've never I bet I can't go out back, can I? You think I can? Okay, I'm gonna try. Am I losing you guys already? Am I still there? Need to go back. Did I did I lose you guys? No, I Am I still here? I say we can go back and look at the garden. Our garden is very well almost done. Let's do that. We're going to do that. We've got 15 people here. Have not lost us yet. All right, here we go. Hold tight then, folks. If I lose you guys, just know I appreciate y'all, and we'll catch you next time. Because I was getting close to winding it down, but we're going to take a walk back here and take a look at the garden. Get one of those leaves stuck between the stem of the leaf and it won't come out. That's what happened right there. <laughs> All right, folks, here's the garden. Here's our garden for the year. And, uh, huh? You lost me? Oh, and he's back. Oh, am I here? Am I gone? Who knows? It still looks like I'm here. 13 people. Maybe you guys lost me. Maybe that's maybe I didn't lose you. Maybe you lost me. But anyways, we got some corn here. Obviously, growing some corn. Oh, pickles. And then uh, we do have some uh, some tomato plants. We can obviously, see tomato plants. Tomato plants. Tomato. We had oh, damn 30, 25 or thirty tomato plants. You good? I'm good. I'm probably out here on. So I'm probably out here on my phone service now far enough away from the house oh but the shining star of this garden i believe are these peppers so these are banana peppers here we had eight of those plants oh we got a crybaby dog and then uh these peppers here jalapenos jalapeno peppers and man we have harvested like i'm not exaggerating probably but 
two or 300 peppers probably off of these, these pepper plants. They're just crazy. And you can see they're getting more flowers like right there. There's more flowers. Yeah, the trees, the trees aren't, they're just some of the, can we zoom in? We cannot zoom in. Sorry guys, if I'd, I'd zoom in if we could, but you can see there's some, these are, this is a silver maple here and you can see the red leaves in it. Just kind of starting, but it's kind of weird. This is, this tree normally turns yellow. So the, I don't I don't understand the red leaves. I don't know what's going on, but yeah, just, uh, starting to lose some leaves in some trees. Corn. Yes. Corn. Good old sweet corn. We probably had, uh, I don't know. I bet we harvested for a month, probably close to a month. Maybe not quite that week, maybe three weeks. We harvested probably once every two or three days. We'd come out and pick enough sweet corn to, to make a, like a side out of, you know, like four or five years. And uh, this was probably, what was this? There's probably 40 or 50 plants here, corn, corn plants. So not a whole lot, not a, like not a large field of corn by no means, but they did us good. Yes. Lots of definitely grows the corn and tomatoes real good up here. No ghost peppers. No, Bana yes, banana peppers. Hey, Adele, what's up? Good seeing you. Welcome to the stream. But yeah, uh, we're definitely going to grow more peppers next year. More more species, more variety of peppers. For sure. And then apples. All these freaking apples. We got an apple tree over there. And I planted two, uh, another apple tree and two pear trees also. We got a big old pile of apples. Used to have a cherry tree over here, but now the neighbors have one, and they're smallish. They're smallish. I don't know. Well, they got pears too. They got a pear tree over there. So there's all kinds of nice fruit trees around here. There's aquatic nests in the garden. What you getting? Tomatoes. Lots of tomatoes. Yeah, the world's smallest corn maze. You guys want to go through it? You guys want to do this world's smallest corn maze? That sounds like a fun thing to do. Are we still, are we still live? Because I can't get comments. Oh, wait, there we go. It's just super laggy. Hopefully you guys are with us. Fence next summer. <laughs> Pear trees are the best. Nice. Oh, corn fence. Yes, corn makes, would make amazing fence very private i'm sure my neighbors appreciate it because i'm the neighbor that has all the junk in the yard and all my other neighbors are really backyards look really clean but look how and this corn is on its way out i mean it was super thick we've cut a bunch out we've made some of those little corn stalk bundles that you put together we've done that <laughs> All right, let's go for it. We're going to do the corn maze, the world's smallest corn maze. There we go. World's smallest corn maze right here on Coldwater Aquatics YouTube channel. I think this is the entrance right here. I'm going to make sure I don't step on any bees. I'm out here barefoot. Probably not the smartest thing when there's bees all over my compost piles. Okay, here we go. So this is the entrance right here. And this this deceiving because this looks open but i think you're supposed to go this way uh, yep and over here is this like as this might be like asmr too because you guys probably really can hear this stuff right okay and then back this way and then this must be okay. This is a loop. It's a loopy loop. Do a circle here, and then that next end over here by the beans. This jack in the beanstalk. 
it. Holy smokes. Yeah. It's just been for cat. That's the, this is the exit, That's too. It, yep, you gotta go under here. So you gotta go under here. Yep, there you go. There it is, folks. World's smallest corn mace. Thanks for the idea, Adele. <laughs> uh, kale, yes. We're going to do kale, weren't we? We talked about doing kale. Yeah, we did. And next year we're doing the garden different. So, obviously, if you can tell this year, the garden's like all squared off and everything's crammed in there. We tried doing rows, but we didn't make them separated enough. Next year, we're going to spread it out into separate areas. Because this, this uh, big tree right here shades a lot of this ground right here. So you can put plants over here that get a little bit of shade toward the evening. And then everything that's off this get the whole lot of stuff. Uh, uh, at the end of this season, we're going to bring in a bunch of mulch and fill in a bunch of mulch and compost. Then maybe like a pepper bed over here. It probably a corn wall that's really nice for uh, privacy and it looks cool as like a background. Then you can do some uh, maybe like a tomato patch and we want to do onions and carrots. We want to do different lettuces. Uh, we're probably going to build maybe a little green now, but should be some good stuff. Chickens would be right now with this garden. But we're not so Getting close to shutting down though. I'm gonna step up here in the shade. Here we go. Thanks for coming in. This will stay deeper in the soil. Okay, there you go. That's a good idea. Good thought. Stupid sun, Silver Creek. It's ruining my vibe over here as well. I think I, I must have just ran out of them data bites or something. <laughs> Here he is. That's right. Greetings, getting on, and welcome to the stream. Nice to have you with us. Yeah, we're just hanging out. Put some fish in this tub over here, just temporary. Then we're going to move them down here once we can. This guy likes to bite my fur. You guys catching this? Got me. You got me. <laughs> He's the one that let me catch him with his hand or both my hand. Can't bite me again? Yep, you are. <laughs> Come here, brother. I'll pick you up. Come on. Let me pick you up for the people. Come on. I give you a worm. <laughs> nope. So he's a little warm mouth. Yeah, he's a warm mouth. Oh, we do have sad news to report to. I don't know. I was gonna I'll tell you guys Friday too, but we ended up losing 
Mr. Grumpy Pants uh, two days ago. I think it was two days ago. So, yeah. Yeah. He, I don't know. I, I still don't. I think it was old age or something like, I don't know, physically wrong with him, maybe. I don't know how, but I don't, I don't see how it would have been anything else because he was in that tank for so long and yeah. same fish. Nothing really ever changes in the tank. So, and, yeah, he just he quit eating, really. Yeah, he quit eating and then just kind of withered away. Yeah. So, yeah, rest in peace, Grumpy. Or dude. But this guy's the future right there. The dude that just bit my finger, he's the future. So he's our next, he's our warm mouth. Uh, and he's a super personable warm mouth. So uh, as you can see, like he wants to bite my finger and he'll let me pick him up. I picked him up by hand in front from this pond to this pond. So yeah, that's, that's how things are, man. Grumpy pants was huge too. He was like, I, I never caught a warm mouth that big in uh, fishing in all my life. And he was like, I don't want to say he was record size warm mouth, but he was, probably wasn't far off of it. He was humongous. He was humongous. He was literally like two and a half inches thick and it was crazy. He was probably 11 inches long. Oh yeah. I still got to dig this brick out of here. I get to it. There you go. Grumpy's in aquarium cops tank. That's right. That's right, brother. So a nice way of thinking about it. Yep, yeah, to the great pond in the sky. There you go. Yep, yep, yep. Well, I don't know. I think it's time for some lunch, ain't it? Yeah. Probably time for some lunch. Time for lunch. Time for lunch, guys. I appreciate you all coming and hanging out. It was nice to uh nice to come see you guys like in the middle of the day. Don't normally do that. And uh yeah. We did it today. Go ahead and turn the camera on. Settings. Facing. There we go. There we go. Still breakfast here. There you go. Nice. Yeah, it's uh 117. Oh, you your camera I did. I gotcha. Say hi to me. Hi, people. Hi, friends. We appreciate you guys, though. Thank you all so much for coming and hanging out with us. Uh, yeah, it was just sort of a, you know, it was like I said, it was a uh, pop-up teardown stream. We tore the tank down, caught four fish out of it, and eventually brought them outside here to get to the garden, all kinds of stuff. So just it is what it is. It's a different kind of stream for because yeah. it's a different kind of time. Yep. <laughs> Adele says it's 3 a.m. there. Wow. Oh, Adele, you're Update. still up, beautiful lady. <laughs> well, we appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with us. And uh, if you want to come back, come back Friday, 6 p.m. We'll be doing another live stream. So you guys have a wonderful week, rest of your day. And uh, till next time, we'll see y'all later. <laughs>